Okay, so here's what I've got. That fitting, I just uh, drilled and tapped a hole through it. It's, it's a glued plug, basically, so that it's going to be watertight. And what I'm going for here is not only a, an arm to uh, support my camera and get the right angles I want, but also an arm that's going to float so that uh, if and when it falls in uh, the water, it'll float and I can still grab it so I won't lose it. So here's what I'm doing. I got this screw that's going to go up through the bottom and it's going to uh, have about half of the thread sticking up and out and to get that in there I got to put a piece of paper towel around it to uh, make it snug fit in my socket. Let's see if I can do this here. Okay there's what I've got. We got the uh, bolt coming out of a deep socket that I'm going to run up in and through this. I'm going to try and get some footage of this if I can and uh, it's hard to do one handed. Okay, here's how it's going to work. I'm trying to improvise here with my stand. So here's how it's going to work. Bolt's going in through just going to thread it down on there and get it so that uh, the thread comes all the way through okay I think With a little help, you can see that paper towel still stuck down in there. But I've got about that much thread, and this basically is a tripod mount for any camera. Quarter 20 thread fits just about every camera that is mountable on a tripod. So this is what I'm going with, because any of the cameras that I have in the future will always mount up to this. Uh, whether it's my Garmin Verb that I've got now, or something else in the future so okay so you see I've got the bolt down in there I've cleaned that little piece of paper towel I used as uh, a gem wedge in my socket so everything's the way I need it to be here and what I'm going to do now is I've got this stuff uh, left over from another project it's a Gorilla Glue uh, epoxy two part epoxy squeeze it out on a piece of cardboard mix it up lay it in place and it's basically going to create a dome or a wrench around the head of that bolt so that it won't back out it doesn't need to be very thick but i'll probably uh make it uh, at least twice as thick as the head of that bolt so that uh, it's got a little bit of pressure against it so that it'll grab uh, I, I don't want that thing to back out because once i glue everything together i won't be able to get back in there and the only way to do that would be to cut the tube, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, here's the way it's going to work. Bottom of my new camera, this is my camera that I'm going to start using, my, my Garmin Verb. Uh, and it's got the base I've, I've had to buy extra parts for it to uh, make it work the way I want. But uh, it'll, it'll screw down on top of there as, a, as if it were a tripod. And the uh, links on all this make it so that it's completely adjustable. I can turn it any direction I need. I can tilt up and down. Um, so it's very versatile uh, and will be. This little piece of foam over across the top here, when I turn this thing on, it's got a really big bright green light right there. You can see that little lens inside here. And it's, uh, when it's charging, it's uh, bright red. When the camera's video recording, it's bright red and it, I mean in the dark it's bright uh, so I covered it with just a piece of uh, foam tape and that's gonna make a little bit of a hood there so that I can tell when I when it's out in front of me I can tell that it's on but anything that's flying out in front won't see it it'll be, be basically uh, dark except for that lens area so uh, getting excited on learning how to use this thing and uh, this is all part of it 
And there's the uh, two-part mix gooped up. And I filled it in there. Oh, I don't know if I can get this to focus or not, but you can see it's it's basically filling that inner plug. So it's about three quarters of an inch thick. I think it'll hold uh, itself in place quite well once it's cured and uh, accomplish the goal here. Okay, so here's what I got. That's the fitting that fits in the uh, gear track on the side of my kayak. And I've reduced it from an inch and a quarter down to a one inch with a three foot long, a 45 degree elbow. Come up here to a 16 inch long piece, another 45 degree elbow, and then a short stub piece, which is going to include this fitting right here. It's going to go onto the top of that stub piece, and that's where my camera is going to sit on. It's basically becoming a, a, an arm that reaches out over the side of my kayak from the back and comes right back up to me. So in theory, this is the way it's going to work. I'll glue this up now. Okay, so here's my end product. I uh, got some 3M camouflage duct tape and did a couple of wraps on this thing, a couple strips down, covered it. At the ends here, I kind of uh, cut and, and uh, pasted some pieces in there and wrapped around the 45s. And then I had this textured brown spray paint that I just kind of sprayed in there and helped kind of soak in the uh, ends of those fittings so that they're not white. And here's the end result. Here's what we got. Uh, you'll see exactly what I wanted. Camera will sit on top of there. It's a good look. There's no shine to it. This end here will fit on the kayak fitting at the back and this arm will swing back and forth. This thing should also float because I plugged it on this end. I installed a plug in the bottom of this fitting so that there's trapped air inside that now. And if this should go in the water even with my camera on it, it should float. I'm going to test it, believe me. <laughs> I don't want to lose another camera.